I'm Nicky Black Market and welcome to Black Market Records. Hi, I'm DJ Clark. My name's uh, DJ Crazy Legs. I work for Black Market Records representing New Breeds recordings also. Peace. Right, the shop. The shop's been here about 13 years, 12, about 12 odd years. I've been in here for now nearly 11 years. I've been here with uh, David Piccioni, also known as uh, Azubi Records, house label. We've seen completely many progressing changes over the years, um, especially with, with our music, you know, because it's a complete ongoing progression of our music, that's what, the way I see it. Especially around about the 92 mark, uh, when we were upstairs, it was like the early breakbeat stuff. The, the, the urge to have our own department for the, for the music was like getting greater and greater because the divide between the, the British hardcore early breakbeat stuff and the house thing was just, it kept growing away from each other. And um, it was like, <laughs> at the time, it was like um, a battle on the decks, like who's going to get on the decks to play what music? You know, and that, that really, we didn't really want that, you know. The thing for the music, we had the, the trust and the belief in the music that it's going to go forward. You know, this is the way forward for our music. This is a British musical movement. We've got to bring it forward. So, um, around that 92 mark, we, we decided, um, 92, 93, we decided to have our own department. Drum and bass took off straight away. I'd say it was it was a complete uh, progression from the hardcore thing, from all different elements. This is Nikisha. Works in uh, our merchandise and ticket department, selling all types of the, our merchandise. Um, the whole thing, the whole thing, and all rave tickets and club tickets. I'm um, Goldie, Black Market, I manage the shop and look after all the uh, lights out there. Hi, I'm Jason Lee. The shop developing over the years, um, obviously we deal with like, every different aspect of music in the shop. We try and cover like, a bit of everything. Anything new that comes in, we want to be first on the, on the thing, first on the scene. House, garage, techno, progressive, hip hop, RB, American garage, all upstairs. So you've got the explosion of the UK garage thing, obviously the US house, I mean we've always had that, we've always been in front of that in the shop, and obviously I mean you've got all different aspects of drum and bass that we, we, we cover the whole thing. Oh, the biggest selling tune. Oh, you had to ask me that one, didn't you? <laughs> Valley of the Shadows. I mean, we just sold. It just carried on and on and on. Represses, remixes. You know, then they done the represses again. And then in 96, they put it out again. And, you know, it just continues selling. I mean, we could have done a couple of thousand before I'd done, you know, we've done so many. Absolutely everybody comes into the shop, not being big head, but I mean like literally everybody passes through the shop at one time or another. Everybody passing in just to see what's going on. Even just to have a look and seeing how their tunes are doing or, or whatnot, you know, or whatnot, you know.
Panthers in the shop, we all give them um, preferential treatment. Everyone, you know, we, one thing we do want to give people when they come in the shop is the service. You know, everyone that comes in, look after them. It's the main thing. Look after them. All our Panthers, all our customers. People come in and buy their records here. They hear it in the raves or in the club, or they read it in a magazine. They come down here. They want to know what, when is whatever's released. Certain raves, what certain raves are on. They come and pick up the flyers as well. You know, we're a part of the scene. You know. Black Market Rolling Volume Three, latest in the series. Got a whole heap of tunes, big tunes. You know, some new ones. Got Brockies. Um, Pains and Ed Solo's uh, Echo Box, it's got uh, Bad Companies, Dogs on the Moon, Big Two, um, it's got uh, J Magic, Satiris, uh, Space Invader, just the name of you, you know. The internet is another part of the scene and a part of the music industry that is growing all the time, you know. Obviously, I mean, obviously, the Dollar Base Arena, you know, it helps the scene. It's a part of, big, big part of the scene. It helps, you know, and uh, people, the other side of the world, that, that wouldn't get to, to hear us or see us or, or anything at all, you know, they, they can become, become a part of it. Drum and bass is a worldwide thing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a British musical movement that's grown. It's grown everywhere, you know? It's, it's a British thing. Wicked. Oh, what's underneath the counter? We've got a bottle of Evian, we've got um, an orange, we've got a banana, we've got a, a little bottle of Ribena. <laughs> no, we can't because. Um, yeah, this is a British musical movement and we've got to bring it forward. <laughs>